acute irreversible symptomatic pulpitis. It's a clinically detectable inflammatory response of the pulp to an irritant in which the exudative forces are hyperactive. Exudates increase the intrapulpal pressure which, which exceeds the pain threshold leading to pain. Vasodilatation and blood stagnation leads to they lead to exudation of plasma protein which causes hypoxia and anoxia to the tissues and cellular death and proteolysis. There are primary external irritants such as heat, cold, sweet and sore and there are secondary internal irritants such as dead cells, pus, protein breakdown products signs and symptoms continuous or intermittent severe excruciating throbbing pain pain may be due to an external or internal irritant pain can also be spontaneous like in internal irritants pain increases when the patient is lying down dur during night time because of the increase in cephalic blood pressure Pain is diffuse or not localized because pulp contains sensory nerves only while which are unable to localize pain. When pain is caused by an external irritant, the pain doesn't disappear after removal of the irritant. It stays because, the pre because of the presence of internal irritants which keeps the intrapulpal pressure high. In the acute symptomatic irreversible pulpitis, in the early stage, we can see the terminology of hot tooth. The hot tooth is because pain is caused by heat and relieved by cold. Heat is caused by vasodilatation of vessels and expansion of fluids, which increases which increase the pressure. Cold causes vasoconstriction and contraction of fluids therefore it decreases the pressure therefore it decreases pain so it's common to see patients attending the clinic with a piece of ice or drinking from a glass of cold water in the late stage or in the advanced stage of acute pulpitis both hot and cold cause pain because the internal irritants are elevating the pressure and the extravasated fluids like exudate and pus are viscous and not contractile. Presence of the blood clots inside the dilated vessels. History and visual examination. Any cause of pulp or irritation. There is a negative response to percussion. Normal or slight widening of the lamina dura in radiography. Vitality tests. Like hyperemia but pain persists after the stimulus is removed. Treatment of acute Symptomatic irreversible pulpitis is the root canal therapy. Subacute pulpitis is a clinical condition stands between acuteness and chronicity. The pain is mild to moderate. These cases may become acute or chronic at any time and the treatment is the root canal therapy as well.